Traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden here again at Real Life Trading Australia, giving you another stock market review. And last night on the SPY, not a lot happening. Little bit of bearishness out there, um, as we spoke about on Tuesday, and pretty much just formed a cute little doji candle last night. Um, you'll notice that the high of Last night's candle was 280.04 and the low of two days ago was 280.13. So we didn't quite fill the gap. Um, however, the market does look a little bit on the bearish side. This to me can possibly look like a little bit of a bearish flag. Um, so just keep your eyes out for a gap down tomorrow and a, another rollover. If we gap down below, uh, below, realistically, if we gap down below 276, that would be quite bearish. Um, however, if we gap down to 276, uh, most likely we probably will get a bit of a bullish push as we are gapping we would be gapping down to the 200 simple moving average. Here's the IWM. And once again, let's say I did speak about, speak about this going lower, probably down to about 14680. We may hit that target tomorrow if we head a little bit lower. Doesn't look bullish at all. So keep your eyes on that one. Q's just staying above the 100. So if we get a, because we had a nice bullish candle, a nice little bullish doji candle last night, if we gap down below here, I'm actually going to be quite bearish on that. So because it's the tech sector, I'm going to be looking at a lot of stocks like AMD and Apple for a bearish move. Um, if we gap down on Apple tomorrow, if we gap down on Apple tomorrow, it would be a nice, nice little play to take bearish, it would, it would end up being a gap and go. So keep your eyes on a gap tomorrow, guys, on that one. AMD. Now, I want to bring you, I want to bring you my idea that I published probably last year, some time ago, actually, on AMD. And I, I just revisited it today and it was a long-term short on AMD. Now, Obviously, the price, the price, the prices didn't actually match up. However, the patterns that it's created are, and also in the exact time, roughly the same time frame. So you'll notice if I push play here, we had the push down, we came up, created some lows here, and then when we pushed up, we created a nice little consolidation area up here. So right now we're kind of just consolidating at this price. Um, however. It doesn't look that, oh, sorry, AMD. It doesn't look that strong, to be honest. If we take a look at the weekly chart, we've got a nice upper wick. Um, all right. And if we take a look at the monthly chart, a nice bearish high wave candle. So, I mean, we've been here before, definitely could go higher. Um, this could potentially be a one, two, three, four, five, and yeah, I don't think we're actually going to make that many high, higher highs here. Um, so just keep your eyes on a long-term a long term trade bearish. Um, if we close below if we close below 26 and start to break these and it doesn't get held up by these 100 and 200 simple moving averages, then I would be a little bit more bearish on AMD. Um, I'll just take a quick look at Nvidia because Nvidia is looking at a really nice time to buy. If I just zoom out into the weekly chart, we are coming down to the 200 simple moving average and we have bounced off here before. Now I don't think I'm not saying we can't go lower. We definitely can go lower, um, but they're a solid company. They're doing amazing things with computer chips and, and all that. And especially with, all the craze about the cryptos lately as well. If that keeps going, most likely we'll see a little bit more of a higher push on Nvidia, which would be good. And that same goes for same goes for AMD. I mean, 
if we still keep pushing higher on, if we still keep pushing higher on with the cryptos, then we could see some higher highs here. But personally, I think that if we start to break this level right here at 26, I do think that we come back down to the 100. So just keep your eyes on a little bit of a bearish, bearish move on AMD over the next coming months. Here's X. So I'll just go back to the daily. So I've spoke to a few people saying back here saying, all right, guys, get into some long-term put options. Most likely X is going down to $8. Um, we're not down at $8 yet, but if you take a look on the weekly chart, we're getting there, right? We are definitely, definitely getting there. There's not much support here in the way. So realistically, we could come all the way down to $6 on, on US Steel, guys. Um, there's not a lot to really talk about with US Steel. There's just not that much bullishness out there, to be honest. So um, yeah, if you're, if you're in shares on X, I definitely would have had puts back here. It was a very, very great time to buy puts as this was like a nice 23% up move. So um, definitely protect the downside, uh, but look for X to go a little bit lower. Here's Shopify. Now Shopify is creating a glorious move. Here's your one, two, three, four, five wave pattern. Um, I'm not buying up here, guys. That's just getting a little bit ridiculous for me. So if we do start to break these lows here, at 266, most likely we will get a flash lower, all right? Probably get a flash lower to about 243 and then a little bit of an up move. And then I guess we kind of see where that goes. If this if this was the last bit of the five wave count move, I'd expect this to be an, an ABC move, um, but we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on, on Shopify. Uh, if you are in bullish, then that's great. I'd be looking to sell sell some premium up here, or, or at least get into some collar positions, uh, long term long term collars, and um, protect the downside and protect your price up here because uh, we have come pretty far. We have definitely come pretty far since December. Uh, we've had a 140 percent move on Shopify. So. I mean, we can definitely come back down to the 100. We've 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 done that before. We need a little bit of a consolidation. We need a little bit of rest. Um, and if I just quickly do a Fibonacci on here from this from this massive move that we have had, 382. That would be my first target to start looking to buy. Um, and then obviously 202 if we if we came down a little bit lower. But by that time, the the 100 should move in our favour. Here's Amazon. Uh, Amazon doing not a whole lot. Um, this is a nice little pullback on Amazon. If I just take a look at the weekly. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just, we're just chilling. We're basically just chilling here. We've got the 100 and the simple, the 100 and 200 simple moving average just about to cross over here. Um, so I think, if most likely we're probably going to look to chop around here, we will come down a little bit lower. If we break this level here, most likely come down, down to the 100 and 200 simple moving average. Long term, definitely bullish on Amazon, but buy as low as you can. So keep your eyes on Amazon. Uh, MU. So MU still going a little bit lower. I don't think it's going to go that much lower personally. Um, if it's going to go anywhere, it'll probably come back down to the lows back in December, which was at, you know, 229.37. On the weekly chart, that, that, the 200 simple moving average is at 30.46. So that would be my target to look at buying. That's where I'm going to be looking at buying to get in some long-term positions on MU. So keep your eyes on MU for a nice bullish trade down here, but short-term bearish. Square. Uh, if we just take a look at the monthly chart, now this is quite interesting. I'll just bring up the short-term moving averages. So the short-term moving averages, we have the 20 EMA on the monthly coming in. Now we have bounced off this before. Um, I'm not saying that we won't close below it, um, but if we do, I would still look to, I mean, that's definitely a good buying price. 
I did say, uh, you know, in my last few reviews that we're probably going to chop around here. Uh, it was at 64.80. 64.80 was the price that I was saying that most likely we're going to chop around and you will get a chance to, if you didn't miss it, if you didn't get it, sorry, you would get a chance to get in here. Um, we may come down a little bit lower, you know, get a few people trapped here, a few bears trapped, and then maybe look for a push higher. Um, but if we do start to close below the two, the the 20 on the monthly, uh, if we come down and we retest, I would just look to buy as low as possible. Hopefully down at 54 if it gets there. But long-term square, great stock to have in your portfolio. Here's BYND. Now, I actually missed this out on a day trade. I was speaking to David Potvin at 11.45 last night, right here on this candle. Um, I was getting ready to enter it into my broker for a, for a short. And I just didn't quite get there in time. My entry was below here with a stop above here. And as soon as I was getting into the broker, we just quickly got this quick flash lower and I was like, all right, well, sweet. I'll wait for it to come up a little bit and it just never stopped. So I'm not going to chase trades, but definitely there were some really great opportunities to make money on BYND last night. We did get this glorious little double bottom here and a nice retest and then a little push higher. So there were a few traders in the real life trading room who did get to catch that. So for all you guys, well done. Here's Google. Now Google, Google is just chilling at the moment, chilling just below the 200 and the 100 simple moving average. Um, on the weekly chart, yeah, on the weekly chart at around 105, uh, 10, 10, 85.73 is our 100 simple moving average. So Realistically, that's where I'd be looking to buy, um, especially in this market, very, very volatile at the moment. Market's not looking super bullish. Um, so pretty much you want to be, these, these, large, these large cap stocks, you really want to be buying them as low as possible. This is a beautiful double bottom and this is a nice, glorious little retest of that neckline. So um, just keep your eyes peeled on Google for a push higher soon. And here's Foot Locker. Now Foot Locker, I know a few people that are in that are in put options on this one. So well done for getting into put options right here. Um, they did miss this move, however, uh, it was over earnings, but that's okay. Still looking quite glorious here. We are at a small support level uh, right right now, um, but if I personally, I think that we can probably fill this retest gap that we had back here. Um, so I am actually looking for this to come down, maybe come back up and then roll back down. So Foot Locker on the weekly chart, we're below the 100 and 200 simple moving average. If we don't bounce now, uh, then we're going back down to these lows. Um, now let's take a look at the all odds Aussie markets. Now we spoke about the, we spoke about the, you know, the, the dip that we were going to be having. If I bring up the short term moving averages, we are at the 20 and we have got a cute little doge, a cute little, you know, hammer candle forming right now. Um, most likely we'll probably just chop around and then come back down to about the 50. And then I would look to, I would then assess, assess the market again and look for a buying opportunity. Um, but Overall, not looking for any bullish trades at the moment. Most of the trades I'm taking are bearish. Here's ANZ, pretty much just chilling after having the election that we had last week. So finally, we had the nice bullish push. Everyone took their profits and now we're probably just consolidating at this price. So, I mean, realistically, we could probably trade around here for a little bit longer and and then look to go higher want these moving averages to come in realistically and come come in and push this price a little bit higher but i mean it is a bank stock usually quite boring but very very predictable so buy low sell high on anz here's telstra telstra doing great things 
Oops. Telstra doing great things in the stock market, finally moving higher. Uh, we'll take a look at the weekly chart. This was a beautiful, beautiful double bottom here. Um, so, I mean, and we've, we've now had all the, the, the short term moving averages cross over. So from here, let's hope to see some more upside on Telstra, but for now just looks bullish, stay bullish. Um, keep buying the dip, maybe off the 50 next time it comes back up. Seems like it's a really nice place to buy. So Telstra looking good. Uh, here's Kogan. Kogan on the daily, oh, sorry, yeah, on the daily chart, looking fairly bullish. If I just quickly go out to the weekly chart, we did get this nice double bottom, um, which is really, really nice. And we are currently above the 100 simple moving average. So, you know, if we come down a little bit more, close, you know, come back down to the neckline and then look for a bounce, that would be a great, great trading opportunity. Here's Evolution Mining just digging up dirt and turning it into gold. Um, beautiful, beautiful bounce a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago um, off this, off this uh, trend line here that we've, that we've had for, you know, since 2017. So beautiful buying opportunity, um, especially with all the market, uh, with all the volatility in the markets, a lot of people talking about, you know, gold's probably going to start going higher. So, stay bullish on, on evolution mining. We are coming into resistance up here. Um, but personally, I think they'll probably go a little bit higher. Um, I'd look to take some profits up here and then look to get, get back in on a dip. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we did have a nice gap and go. So this could keep running guys. So just keep your eyes on evolution mining for a push higher as gold goes higher. Speaking of gold, here's gold. Um, and yeah, so basically nice buy low, sell high opportunity. We are still in this trend line. Um, but as the market's looking a little bit weak, gold is pushing higher. So, I mean, from here, gold, I'm, I'm still just bullish to neutral, to be honest, bullish to neutral. So, um, any long-term positions on gold, just keep selling the highs and buying the lows. Here's US oil, US oil. Now I spoke about this on Tuesday saying, look for a bearish move. Um, I hope you guys did catch some. I did think it was going to chop around here for a little bit longer. Didn't happen, but we did get that bearish move. So um, from here, just keep riding that bear train, guys. Uh, looks, looks amazing. We are below the 100 and 200. Let's ride this baby all the way back down to $50. Um, but that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this stock review. If you've got any tickets you want me to review next week on Tuesday, uh, either in the Aussie markets or the US markets, I'll be happy to look at them for you. Um, but uh, options expiry tonight, so I'll be up trading. So I hope to see you all there if you're in the real life trading room. All right, guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. And until then, love life, live life, and trade it. Bye.